Our Division Three men's basketball coaching honoree this evening is Steve Bankson. Since the time Steve was in fifth grade, he knew he wanted to be a basketball coach. He got to realize that dream and spent 44 years as a head coach at the high school, junior college, and Division Three levels. Bankson began his coaching career with four years as a high school coach in Indiana and Michigan. He served as coach and athletics director at Lorraine Community, or County Community College for 12 years and then took over his post at Baldwin-Wallace. Steve spent the majority of his Baldwin-Wallace career in Berea where he led the men's basketball team for 28 seasons and compiled 420 wins against 328 losses. During his tenure, BW won the Ohio Athletic Conference four times, the OAC regular season championship once, and appeared in the NCAA Division III championship five times. His 652 victories at the college level is the most credited to any coach in Ohio history. While his overall coaching record is 701 wins, 444 losses, he believes his most important statistic is the fact that 83 of his 85 Division three players have college degrees. Steve Bankson, welcome to the Ohio Basketball Hall of Fame. I'm honored and humbled by the opportunity to be elected to the Ohio Hall of Fame. And I want to thank the Board of uh, Directors for bestowing this honor on myself and the Bankson family. You know, Doc asked us to talk about the effect that basketball has had on our lives. And there are three things that I would briefly like to mention. The first was working with other people, serving them. In 1948 and 49, our single high school in Michigan went to the state championship game. And our coach was like a god in that community. And yet on Saturday morning, he would go with the fourth graders, which I was at that time, and the fifth graders, and would work with us in developing our talents. And I thought at that time, wow, what a person. He's working with us in serving others. And whatever our role is in life, serving others is so important. Secondly, basketball has allowed me to perform a job that I loved. I never really went to work. I always wanted to be a basketball coach because of my high school coach. And I was in that for 44 years. And I loved it. I loved working with the players and being around people and being in the great game of basketball. And last but not least, folks, are the many fine people that I have met during my time as a coach. I've had great assistant coaches. Four of them are here this evening. Jim Finneger, Guy Neal, Don Hershey, and Chris Kibler, and they were so instrumental in our success and our close personal friends. No coach ever had a family that was more supportive than I had. We had three daughters, and from the time that the oldest was in the second grade until the youngest graduated from college, a span of 25 years, one of them was in attendance at every game, home or away. They served as statisticians, scorekeepers, announcers, and referee baiters. And last but not least, my wife of 52 years. She was my psychiatrist, advisor, counselor, mentored players. She was tremendous. And tonight we have numerous players who are here who have played for me. That's a tremendous honor for me to have them here and we had no sons in our family, so I regarded my players as my sons. And it's great to see them here tonight. I thank the referees who are here tonight. I always regarded them as good friends. And in 44 years, I had five technical fouls. Now, not that I didn't get on the officials, but I knew that they had a job to do. And they did a good job. I want to leave you tonight with an Irish blessing. There are many here tonight I've not seen since I retired, and some I may never see again. May the sun shine warm upon your face. May the wind be always at your back. The rain fall soft upon your grass. And until we meet again, 
May the good Lord hold you in the palm of his hand, now and forever. Thank you very much.